Hello and welcome to yet another one of my video tutorials. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you how you can scan a file of a virus the most effective way there is. And I know what you're thinking, I know how to scan a file of a virus, I just right click on it, click scan. Uh, but that isn't very effective if you have a file which you think is potentially quite dodgy. Uh, now I don't know what that file may be, and I don't want to know what that file might be. Uh, but if you do have a file like that, uh, you may want to go to virustotal.com and basically you upload your file to them and they then scan it with 37 different antiviruses and tell you if any of them uh, found something wrong with the file you sent to them. Um, now occasionally some files will give so false positives and others will give false negatives, so we'll just bear that in mind. Alright, uh, so once you go to this website, you want to click on Browse, then you want to choose the file you want to upload, and click Open, and then you can send it over SSL encryption if you want, I'm not going to, uh, so then you want to click Send File, and then this will come up, and this will give me a bar in a minute showing me how much of the file is uploaded. Uh, there we go, and at the moment it's, end, it's done 21.9% of 582 kilobytes. I'm only doing a small file uh, just for this video. Uh, I'm not sure what the total limit for a file is. The largest file I've ever uploaded was just over 10 megabytes. Um, right now, as you can see, I've uploaded the file and they're saying this file's already been scanned. And it was last scanned on the 6th of January, so two days ago. Um, so I don't really want to scan it again because not one of the 37 found anything wrong with it and so I doubt if I scanned it again anything else would be found. Uh, so I'm just going to click on show last report. This is of course if you want to save some time. Um, right now if you upload a file and that screen you just saw doesn't come up you will uh, something like this will come up and it will basically I have a list of antiviruses in under the heading antivirus, obviously. Then you've got the version number and the last time they were updated and what the result is. And if it's got a dash, it basically means it was uh, found negative for no viruses. And as you can see, you've got sort of like all the big names in here, uh, such as Avast, AVG, Bitdefender, uh, McAfee, Kaspersky, and so forth as well as also loads of other uh, sort of minor antiviruses that most people wouldn't have heard of. Uh, but you know, every and every antivirus helps. And uh, so they're saying that 0 out of the 37, and thus 0% found anything wrong with this file, so I would say it's okay to open. And uh, they do have a disclaimer on the bottom of the website basically saying that um, there is no solution that is guaranteed to detect a virus. Like, like, let's say you invented a super virus unlike any other virus that ever existed. You could upload it to them and potentially all of these antiviruses would say, no, that file is safe to open. When in fact you know actually it's not, it's a virus. Uh, but if nothing picks up a virus, then there's sort of like a 98% chance that that file is safe to open. Um, even if sort of like five or six of the antiviruses detect a virus in the file, then I'd, I'd still say safe to open unless there's a few of the big names in there. Uh, like, for example, Icarus, uh, they've got this antivirus on here, and I've noticed a lot of the time whenever I upload a file, very often they'll say, oh, this file's a virus, when no other of the antiviruses say it will. And uh, say so it is, sorry. So chances are it's not a virus and it's a false positive. Um, but if you upload a file and sort of like a dozen say, yeah, this is whatever, I wouldn't recommend opening it and I'd just say, you know, delete the file and forget about it. Uh, if we go back to the main page, as you can see, there's a button called Hash Search. Uh, now what you can do, if you've got a very slow upload speed like I do, you can find out something called the MD5 hash of a file. And this is sort of like a 
unique code that each file has and you can download a program for free called MD5 Calculator and I'll put a link to that in the description and basically you open a file with that and it will tell you what the MD5 hash of that file is and it gives you sort of like a I don't know, it's something like a 30 um, a 30 character length code and then you'd copy and paste it into there and then you click search and if that file's already been uploaded it will give you the last result and stuff like that or alternatively you can in fact email them uh, a potential virus and then you'll get an email back but that is slower and uh, so yeah that is how you scan a file for virus are like the most effective way known to man so far. Uh, in the description I've also put the link for another website similar to this. Uh, I just prefer to use this one though and I am sure that there are other websites out there like this but this is sort of like the main one that I prefer to use. Uh, so yeah thanks for watching and I hope that helps. Uh, also if you want to get some more videos like this or videos of Left 4 Dead please subscribe to my channel. Uh, so yeah thanks for watching.